Oh my gosh. Uh, what you saw there was me trying to learn more about my feet. Feet people, this is your episode. For free? Yes. When we think about medical conditions, we probably think doctors, nurses. But do you know, there are also other important medical allies that work together to ensure that we can recover when we fall sick. One of the most prevalent medical conditions we will face in our lives is feet problems. As they are rather complex and important structures, highly specialised knowledge is required to treat them. So for that, we got a podiatrist to share with us more about what happens behind the scenes when it comes to keeping our feet happy. Podiatrists deal with the lower limb, and specifically in Singapore's context, the feet. Um, my name is Benjamin. Let me show you some of the things that we do over here. Okay. Um, let's go. <laughs> when our distant ancestors developed the ability to walk upright, our feet had to evolve at a fast speed to balance us. Because of that, it uses a whole bunch of evolutionary shortcuts and duct tapes to hold this part of our body together. The fact that these delicately put together feet have to literally support the weight of our entire body, that's a feat in itself. Mm. There are four main practice areas for podiatry in Singapore, namely wound care, nail surgery, musculoskeletal conditions relating to the feet, and core podiatry work. Come, let's have a seat. Oh, you actually have a condition that's uh, going on over here. Huh? Yeah. I have? Have. What? It's what? Uh, bunions. Bunions are progressive condition. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh no! <laughs> Come and close your eyes. Uh, what if I laugh? What is ticklish and I laugh? Ooh. Anything? Yeah, on the left. Right. The monofilament test basically is used to test the sensation of the feet. Ooh. And the thing is in uh, patients with diabetes, more often than not with uncontrolled blood sugar levels, the nerve endings in the feet get affected, so they lose that sensation. So in fact, many of our patients come in here with far greater problems like these. When a healthy foot becomes high risk, a podiatrist will attempt to do all they can to manage it, making sure it doesn't deteriorate. But if it does, ulceration will be the next problem. And what we will do typically is to perform things like cutting away the dead flesh and remove the non-viable tissue in the hopes of helping the wound recover. If things worsen, the foot might get infected with bacteria and fungi which eventually will lead to necrosis of the foot. In the event where the wound doesn't heal up properly, an amputation could be the likely result. Working with the prosthetics and orthotics departments, a podiatrist employs equipment like specially created shoes that can remove pressure from a certain spot of the sole, specially crafted prosthetics, and even 3D scanning of patients' feet for further investigation. Another very big part of our feet are these little armour plates that we have on the tip of our toes, aka nails. Nails are made out of keratin, the same material as your hair, a rhino's horns, and even a pangolin scale. So yeah, if anyone were to offer you a rhino's horns as a medical supplement, they are essentially making you eat toenails. Our nails grow out of our nail roots, which are hidden under the cuticles. As new cells start growing, they push out the old ones, causing them to slide along the nail bed, creating that layer of hard surface. So one of the very severe examples that mm -hmm. I have seen and treated is a patient that literally came in with two raisin-like lesions okay. on the toe. What we had to do was to remove all of that dried blood, dried pus, dried tissue, and then literally remove um, almost a good chunk of that particular nail via nail surgery. Thank you, Benjamin, so much for today, for teaching us all about our feet and also letting me know I have slight bunions. I'll go back and think about that. Thank you! No worries, see you See again. you again! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Okay, bye. Bye -bye. If you love feet and would like to explore a career in podiatry, you have to go overseas for your studies and that can be quite expensive. Thankfully, there are healthcare scholarships available, so we'll leave a few in the comments below. Don't say we bojo. Also, if you have enjoyed such healthcare content from us, let us know in the comments as well and we'll do more in the future. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.